Camila, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally my Dose of Colors lip swatch collection video. A lot of you guys requested this video when I did my haul and I finally got around to filming it. I'm so sorry it took so long. So my fingers are extremely stained from the liquid lipstick so please ignore that and then I also have a stain here from swatching and I don't know if you guys can see around my lips these stains as well but whatever I just finished filming all the lip swatches for these liquid lipsticks I have all of the colors except one which was just released and it is called bear with me and I really want it because it's like a really pretty pinky kind of peachy nude oh my god and I do have one that is not part of the permanent collection but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway because I don't know if they're gonna bring it back they've been bringing back a lot of a limited edition liquid lipsticks so just in case so just to give you guys a quick review on these liquid lipsticks I really do love these they are one of the most comfortable comfortable <laughs> they are one of the most comfortable formula to wear of all the liquid lipsticks that I own um, but I do find that the formula does vary from liquid from color to color this is what the liquid lipsticks look like. It's just a really pretty chubby tube. Um, I love them because they stand flat so they're easy to store if you just want to display them or if you want to put them in um, like lipstick holders. This is what the applicator looks like. It's a nice doe foot applicator. I love the tip of this because it does allow, like it kind of hugs your lips and it makes the application of this product a lot easier. However, it has like little, like it's fluffy, like the, um, the doe foot is kind of, I don't know how to explain it, it's kind of like little fuzzies, and that can get a little bit of annoying. It holds the product nicely and it spreads it really nicely throughout the lips, but it's a little bit difficult to get a precise line around the lips. So that is one of the cons with the application. I'm currently not sure how much is in each liquid lipstick like how much um, product but I will find out and I will link it down below if not I'll put it up here on the screen for you guys to see um okay they retail for $18 so each liquid lipstick is 18 bucks which is pretty expensive and unfortunately dose of colors is not very big on like coupon codes or discounts or anything like that and another thing that sucks is that you have to pay for shipping every single time even if you have a certain amount in your cart like you know you can spend 50 get free shipping they don't play that game you spend 18 you pay shipping you spend 118 and you pay shipping so that kind of sucks <laughs> they do ship internationally which is a good thing though um i don't know how much it is to ship internationally and i did read on the website that you are subject to custom charges and service charges and stuff so keep that in mind as well let's do a little kiss test to see if these are kiss proof so just a little bit a really really faint amount transfers but you do have to let them dry down completely like every other liquid lipsticks avoid greasy and oily foods and that would allow the liquid lipstick to last longer right now I am actually wearing a mix of two colors these two colors have more of a moussey, where is it? They have more of a moussey texture, which is what I kind of prefer because it's a little bit nicer to work with. They're a little bit creamier and not only are you able to mix colors, but they also wear more comfortably. The only thing that I find with more moussey textures is that they don't last as long, but they are more opaque in pigment. Right now, the combination that I'm wearing is sand and brick. And I kind of really like it. It's really pretty. <laughs> but brick and sand are from the Terra Collection. And luckily, they brought them back. They actually brought the whole Terra Collection. They brought um, sand, stone, and brick back. And these are probably some of the most beautiful colors. Sand is a little bit difficult to pull off. Um, I feel like it washes me out. But stone and brick are such beautiful colors. They are probably my favorite colors along with truffle. Those four that I mentioned um, along with Bury Me have the most creamy, moussey formula. Um, where I find that it's kind of like just one layer and it dries down really nicely and it's comfortable to wear. But the other ones such as Merlot, Kiss of Fire, Bury Me Too, uh, Coral Crush, these brighter shades, they are 
more liquidy. The most liquidy one is Coral Crush. It does make the application a little bit messier and they're not as opaque when you apply. With Coral Crush, I was able to do one layer and when you first apply it, it looks kind of patchy but then it kind of dries down evenly. It's the weirdest thing. Bury Me Too is like, it's nice but it's patchy. Um, the same thing with the two red ones, Merlot and Kiss of Fire. They're beautiful colors, they're very similar, but they're a little bit liquidy. So these, I had to do two layers, and you have to do light layers because if not, it gets really goopy. Um, and then the limited edition one that I have, Black Rose, I had the same problem with this one. This one was kind of patchy, and I layered it a little bit too thick, so it just looked not cute. It just did not look cute. <laughs> they don't completely dry down that you don't feel them. Some of them do, like stone just... It's like if you have nothing on. It is the most amazing color. Truffle is another one. Oh my god, it's so good. This is my favorite. But they are a little bit tacky. Once they're almost 100%, like 95% dry, they don't transfer around. They don't move around. It's really comfortable. It's not overly drying. Liquid lipsticks tend to be a little bit drying. Um, some formulas are better than others, but these are not bad at all. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Matte lips do not bother me at all. But if you'd like, you can put a little bit of chapstick under it just to keep your lips feeling a little bit more moisturized. I actually had a better wear time with the more nude shades. I wore this the entire day. I ate. I did not touch up. I did not. And I was just so surprised. Like, it faded a little bit on the inner part of the lips but it was nothing like it was not a big deal like i would have continued wearing it really really impressed me um and the same thing with stone they don't fade nasty and icky and i really enjoy the nudes i would say the deeper shades like brick is awesome brick is amazing but like bury me um it looks beautiful on but it did fade um on the inner like right there like it didn't last the whole day so I would say that the deeper shades definitely take them with you um, or something that I could recommend is to wear a lip liner under it like something to kind of match the liquid lipstick that you're gonna wear line your lips fill in your lips so that once this does fade you kind of have that lip liner stain they wear pretty well like they'll wear a good I want to say like a good four to six hours the nudes I would definitely say a good six to eight hours I will put the link down below where you guys can find these I bought all of these with my own money well my dad kind of bought these for me but so this is my complete honest opinion I love these but there are some pros and cons to these like I said but I would definitely 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 recommend truffle stone and brick out of all of them, Bury Me is a beautiful color, but honestly, these three are my favorites. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these lip swatches. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time. Beat Abuser.